Hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Fireside video series. And today, kind of the last structural element of the digestive system, the large intestine. And this is really, you know, one of the key areas, obviously, that so many products uh, for digestion have historically been focused on. Um, you know, basically, what are we trying to do in the large intestine? Well, a lot of those partially digested uh, uh, elements of forage um, coming into the large intestine, uh, largely sort of cellulose, hemicellulose, uh, are attacked by these bacteria. Uh, there's billions of these beneficial bacteria that live in the hind gut, both the cecum and the, the large colon and they're uh, hopefully going to uh, uh, break down the forage and uh, <clears throat> uh, get more nutrients out of it. Uh, we're also going to see the production of volatile fatty acids in the large intestine. Uh, that's huge for the horse's energy. Uh, we're seeing the production of B vitamins. Uh, that's also very important. But the things that we need to be concerned about uh, are probably more than anything is the pH, you know, whether it's acidic or an alkaline environment in the hindgut. Uh, now, if you're feeding a horse, you know, a high forage diet where you've got a, you know, pretty much a consistent stream of forage uh, coming into the horse and, and ending up in the large intestine, that's good for the pH uh, of the hindgut. Whereas if we're feeding more of a, a, a you know, a grain-centered diet and particularly larger grain amounts that are not fed perhaps consistently, these can uh, uh, result in a, a significant drop in the pH, i.e. a more acidic environment. And that's when we can really have problems because that will tend to kill off uh, 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 the beneficial bacteria in the hindgut and, and obviously problems can result from that. So this is why, you know, historically we've always talked about probiotics, um, you know, as being one of the key features in a digestion product. Now, when I get into the next section, which is really going to be talking about the various different products and different ingredients that are available for digestion, we're going to sort of get into that because as I've promised to do, I'm going to say some, uh, shall we say, uh, uh, things that you may not have heard before. Um, about some of these ingredients um, and again we're always going to be very interested to get your comments about what I what I have to say whether you agree or you disagree um, but basically you know in ending the sort of physiological part of this discussion on, on digestion you know we've done the, the stomach we've done the small intestine we've done the large intestine and you know the big takeaway from that is again you know kind of a bit of a soapbox thing on my part is you know that importance of forage because it's forage that's going to uh, uh, um, you know keep that pH high keep the microbial population healthy so everything is is working effectively uh, in the hind gut and and you know if we do have issues perhaps a horse moving from uh, a long distance away to a different uh, environment you know normally that will uh, quite often cause, again, a, a, a large die-off in that uh, uh, bacterial population. We often see horses lose condition, particularly when they're flown internationally. Uh, uh, you know, you'll see horses losing condition for two or three months before uh, they're acclimatized to the natural yeasts in the air in, in their new environment. But anyways, that should be a good kind of grounding, I hope, in the large intestine. Um, also water retention actually I, I should also add is very important too that's also what forage will help do uh, if, if there's plenty of forage in the hind gut that's going to help with the retention of uh, uh, water and electrolytes in the horse's system um, anyways next one is going to be actually getting into the products and the ingredients so I hope you'll stick around for that and thanks for listening bye